Friday. Welcome on into North Dakota today. We're so happy to have you. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Sophia Richards. And well, we know what day it is. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Woo! Okay, you know what's actually so <laughs> scary about what just happened? We have a full live studio audience yep, right you now. Guys. <laughs> There's so many people in the studio right now. <laughs> we are so excited. We'll be checking in with some incredible students here coming up pretty quickly. Uh, but just so you know, we're not alone. Normally, it's just yes. us chatting with you guys at home on the couch, one couch to the other. But boy, oh boy. <laughs> and we have a lot of ground to cover. So we have to take a moment to reflect on our time yesterday. Yes. Getting those custom-made hats from Elevated Brim Company. That didn't just make my day. That made my week. That made Life. my month. That unlocked a whole new personality trait, and now I need yeah. excuses to wear the hat just out and about in existence. I feel like once you get the hat, the opportunities will present itself. They yeah, it finds you. Yep. It's like once the hat is made, <laughs> once it's customized, once it's branded and embroidered, yes. you're good to go. Uh, so thank you again to them. That mm -hmm. was incredible. And then all yesterday while we were in studio hanging out with them, I said, this is unlocking Cowboy Carter era. That's Beyonce's new country album, mm -hmm. you guys. I've been listening to it nonstop. We haven't had a chance to chat about it yet. No, we haven't, and it's been all over. I feel like every morning show is talking about it, yep. and now it's our turn, you guys. Yeah. Yes, well, if you don't know, which you should, because it's been everywhere, <laughs> yes. but Beyonce released her eighth studio album last month, and it has made major waves since then. Critics are even going so far as to say it's a shoe-in for the 2024 album of the year. Mm -hmm. Really exciting. And the music is driven by a range of acoustic instruments played by musicians, including Stevie Wonder, Paul McCartney, Nile Rodgers, and John Batiste, as well as vocal features by Miley Cyrus, Post Malone, and of course, our girl Dolly Parton. Uh, known as Dolly P mm -hmm. on the track. Oh yeah. Uh, the Shotgun Rider song with Miley has been stuck in my head all morning. Yeah. Levi's Jeans, that's the one with Post Malone. Yes. That's what I was singing to you last week when I yep. came in. <laughs> Tell me your print. All right, don't get me started, because I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, but really, I do like it. Some of the songs I'm skipping through just to get yeah. to my favorites, but overall, an incredible work of art, in my opinion. Yeah, it is really exciting. Well, the album has already broken several streaming records and debuted at number one in several countries. Exciting. And we have our, our hats just in time. Yeah. So if you're looking for your <laughs> cowboy era, this is it. This is your invitation. Yes. Well, locally, there is a lot going on in our region. It is a big day for the North Dakota Autism Center. Tonight, you guys, is their 15th annual Awesome Evening event. Now, this is their black tie fundraising gala, all in support of the center. And this year's theme is vintage Hollywood. So Ooh. bust out your best. Hollywood glam. Ooh la la, I love that. Mm -hmm. Guests will enjoy a plated dinner, games, silent, and live auctions. Dueling pianos are the entertainment for tonight. So this is all happening today at 5 p.m. at the Holiday Inn in Fargo. And if you're not able to make it, you can still make your donation online at ndautismcenter.org. Now the center provides behavioral therapy, in-home services, and residential services to kids and adults. And they also have free after-school activities that are open to anyone. Also going on this weekend, maybe you tuned into the Valley today early this morning because our very own Tata Miller was live out there all morning. For nearly 60 years, the Cardin family has been bringing astonishing shows to the big top across the country. And this weekend, it's right here in our own backyard. The El Zagel Shrine Circus is performing in Fargo, thrilling crowds with exotic animals and human daredevils. Tatum was live this morning with an elephant. Yeah. It's the real deal. Well, this is such fun memories for me. My family would go every single really? year. Yes, when we were younger, and it was just a blast. I don't think I've ever once been to the circus. What? Yeah, we would have circus-themed nights when I worked in sports. Okay. Like at the baseball stadium. Oh, one time I was a bearded lady. I glued a beard on and wore an evening gown. Oh, I should Now have this I gotta see. I know, I should have found the photo. You guys, it's actually incredible because it was blonde. I went to the costume shop and they like <laughs> met, tried to match beard. it. Yes, it was like lighter hair to match <laughs> my hair color. Yeah. And that sucker was glued on. I was traumatizing the children in real time because they couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And they were like, this girl. That I, would yeah, confuse I me like too. I belonged in the circus. Yeah. I was the bearded lady. <laughs> and, I, and I also carried around, this is unlocking a whole new memory. Yeah. I had a fan that covered the bottom half of my face. Okay. So you couldn't tell right away. Oh. And then I would like take the it away. The big reveal. Yeah, to okay. be the bearded lady. Oh, good times. I <laughs> love that. Miss that beard. <laughs> Better start growing it in. No, that was so that. fun. But I've never actually been as a, as a viewer, I guess. Yeah, well, we, my grandma would always take, my sisters and I, we love would that. get hopped up on cotton candy. <laughs> we would get, yeah. you know, the light up swords and sabers and princess tiaras of and course, things. Yes. And it was just 
a blast. Oh, I love that. Well, you can run away with the circus April 5th through the 7th. Things kick off tonight at the Fargo Dome. Mm -hmm. Also today, we're talking about one of our favorite foods. Pizza. Pizza. Yep. Go ahead. Tell them. Yes. Well, <laughs> toss the dough, shred the cheese, and preheat the oven, you guys. Or just go to your local Chicago-style pizzeria because today is National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Yeah. It is observed every year on April 5th. Oh, this makes me want to teleport to Chicago. Mm -hmm. I need some Luminati's, some Giordano's. The hearty variation of the classic pizza pie is a sure way to fill up your stomach and make you happy because the thick crust holds a boatload of sauce and toppings. So, however you do it, treat yourself to a yummy slice of deep dish deliciousness. Today's the day to celebrate. Nice. And on a Friday, mm -hmm. what could you ever want more? You know, we always give you guys an excuse to go get your snacks, yes. your sweet treats, yes. you know, your soul food. We're here for you here in North Dakota today. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Well, in the meantime, you're going to want to, you know, use this time wisely in the commercial break because we have an incredible group of kiddos here. They, I don't know if we can get a quick little camera shot. We are talking about some Lego champions joining us here. Wave hi. Good morning, team. Oh, my goodness. We are so excited to touch base with some of our up-and-coming geniuses from West Fargo's Freedom Elementary. Stick around, everybody. We'll have plenty to chat about right here after the break.